this is the shortest video I done, but a subscriber requested it and I did the best research I did and I could try and I tried my hardest. I really did. I tried my hardest to get the best research I could here. But we're talking about Monster vs. Godzilla versus Hanna Barbara Godzilla. And this is probably gonna be a quick address here. It's a ten minute video and honestly I hate I hate this because you know I usually give longer and better replies here. But, uh, yeah, honestly, um, Monster vs. Godzilla, let's talk about how strong he is. He's incredibly strong, easily continental to multi-continental, is able to rip apart a net that was holding down Titanus and Akika, who was capable of shattering a, <coughs> sorry, is actually capable of shattering an entire oil platform with just one tentacle. Uh, is able to throw Titanus Amalot casually, who's capable of knocking out Behemoth. These monsters actually do scale to Godzilla's durability, and they will actually scale above the permanent extinction because that didn't even hurt Godzilla at all here. He so yeah, Godzilla is actually incredibly strong and, like I said, incredibly durable with the permanent extinction feat, which wiped over 90% of life on Earth. So again, that's pretty ridiculous, right? You also have the fact that Godzilla is ridiculously fast here. You can actually put him around hypersonic to around Mach 33 here, um, which is actually massively, massively hypersonic here because King Ghidorah was actually able to go to the edge of the atmosphere while holding Godzilla in just a couple minutes. So again, that is a noteworthy feat in its own right here. And Rodan is said to be faster than that here. So again, going to the edge of the atmosphere quite easily with little to no effort here so honestly um yeah godzilla is pretty strong pretty fast pretty durable he also has his atomic breath was actually able to drill through the hollow earth which means godzilla drilled through the earth's crust drilled through an interdimensional gateway that led to the hollow earth and boom hits the bottom of or the top or the second um area of the hollow earth here okay so yeah, Godzilla is act. This Godzilla is actually just ridiculously strong, ridiculously durable, and ridiculously fast. So now let's cover uh, Hanna Barbara Godzilla here. This Godzilla is actually I I liked it. I liked the stuff I actually watched from you know the little clips and snippets. I was actually able to you know gather this information from here. Hanna Barbara Godzilla is actually incredible. <laughs> essentially and honestly it's just it, it it's really weird because firebird and rodan you could say they have just about the same durability in some regards here i mean they're both able to nest in the volcano but after that i don't really see it being a um a stronger creature or being or maybe a faster creature maybe 
Now, this is, it's a bit sketchy the way this verse works here. I could say that the Firebird is just more powerful than Rodan because it scales to Hanna-Barbera Godzilla with Hanna-Barbera Godzilla being around moon level, like moon to small planetary. And again, there's, you know, the whole fact that these monsters really didn't do much in the series in general. So, yeah. Honestly, that's the one way you can look at it here. Another way we can look at it is just the tearing. Essentially, we have the Hanna-Barbera Godzilla just being um, planetary or small planet in general here. I mean, the moon feet kind of speaks for itself here. That's a pretty big feat here. It's one of the reasons why Power Rangers are actually more overpowered than you think here because the enemies that they're fighting are capable of pulling or moving or destroying the moon. That poor moon gets abused in Power Rangers. Like, like honestly, the moon in Power Rangers just gets abused so much. It is not even funny. Like, we, we need to start a moon, a moon um relief program. Like, leave the moon alone. Like, what, what did the moon do to y'all? He doesn't want to be, he, he's you. The moon is basically used as a feat for, for every Power Ranger. Um, for just about every Power Ranger villain out there, like, geez, it, the, like, the moon is for the streets, like, it, it, it's absolutely ridiculous, so, yeah, um, anyway, here, um, yeah, the, basically, the moon is definitely for the streets here, I mean, if Hannah Barber using it and Power Rangers using it, the moon just belongs to everybody, like, gosh, like, poor moon, so, yeah, honestly, that's, uh, I, uh, that's honestly how we could look at it here, in terms of um, atomic breath potency, I would definitely have to say Monster vs. Godzilla does take that. In terms of durability, eh, I would have to say they're about equal. In terms of speed, I would definitely say Monster vs. Godzilla is faster. Um, in terms of strength, I would definitely have to say Hanna-Barbera Godzilla. Again, due to the um, moon feet, I could probably get the moon feet to you know, her durability as well, considering the fact that being able to resist that pull would also count as durability. It's like standing in front of a black hole in comics here. Like, if the character's skin starts to peel off or, you know, the black hole is wearing them down, they're, yes, they're durable enough to withstand the black hole, but again, that means, like, it's chipping at them. It's like chip damage you do in, like, Mortal Kombat when the opponent blocks, but you're still getting that tiny little snippets of damage off them. Okay, so you have pretty much that to to justify it here. Now, I understand what some of you guys are probably expecting here. And honestly, I'm... This is probably one of the most confusing matchups I had to, I had to do here on this channel. It, it's not as simple as something like Grimlock versus the Hulk or Monster X versus Black Adam. Okay, it's not that... It's not that simple. Or, you know, Rayquaza versus Ben 10. It's not that. This really isn't one of those simple matches here. This is pretty much versus in general. This is a verse battle. And I don't mean like, you know, um, versus type of thing. This is basically the monster verse versus the Hanna-Barbera Godzilla verse. I mean, the Godzilla is actually getting very close to planetary levels of you know, attack potency. I, I mean, you got multi-continental, and next thing you know, you might have a moon feat eventually. I, I really think we're going to get a moon feat eventually because I feel like they're going to add Space Godzilla at some point in the MonsterVerse. But again, that's not the point here. It's really about just the creatures in the verse. I do think if verse versus verse were pretty much going up against each other, I think the MonsterVerse would actually have a better chance of beating the creatures from the Hanna-Barbera-verse. But when it comes to just Godzilla versus Godzilla, it's really just like, it's like that moon feet is the one feet you're just holding on to, right? Meanwhile, Monster vs. Godzilla just has better and actually just much more, I, I wouldn't say flashier, but it's just much more calculable feats here. I'm not, I don't really like using versus battles wiki to calculate something. But again, it's it, it, it's a source I had to use in order to actually do the research on Hanna-Barbera, okay? But if I really had to give my own perspective of it, um, 
I do think Godzilla Jr. from Godzilla the series would have been a better fight for uh, Monster vs. Godzilla. Size equalized, I do think Zilla would have been a better fight here. And I could give a better argument for Zilla actually winning this due to the intelligence and making the Kong argument that Kong's intelligence actually plays a big factor in um, beating Godzilla. And the intelligence factor for Zilla would have made him a lot better. But anyway, you guys here, I'm, I'm going to have to give it to Monster vs. Godzilla just due to better, better looking feats here and just a bit more calculable feats here. But let me know what you guys think down below. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and share with your friends. This is Legendary Ghidorah, and I hope to see you guys later for another versus matchup which will be in the description down below. Peace.